Let's look at another problem. Solve the following initial value problem. Okay, so here's our ODE. Here's our extra piece of information. In, in other words, we know the value of the function, of the unknown um, function at one point, namely x equals zero. We know that the solution is equal to one. And what we want to do is solve the whole, um, the, the combination of, of two equations here. All right, so our ODE is separable again. Remember, it's just a function of y times a function of x. So the idea is to separate the variables and integrate both sides. Okay, so we separate, so I'm going to bring that y squared down there and the dx up there. Right? And now I'm going to integrate both sides. Now, note here I'm integrating with respect to y. Over here, I'm integrating with respect to x. Now, on the left-hand side, I'm going to get something like minus 1 on y. And on the right-hand side, I'm going to get x plus a third x cubed plus a constant of integration. Now, what I would like to do is, A, rearrange this and make y the subject, and B, find this constant of integration. I can do it because I have an initial condition. All right? So I'm going to rearrange first. To form this. Okay. Now let's apply the initial condition and find this, this C. So the initial condition is y of 0 equals 1. We obtain the following. All right, so I go up to here. I substitute in x equals 0, and I know the whole thing has to be equal to 1. So I'm going to get 0 there, 0 there, and just c on the bottom. So if I rearrange this, c's got to be... Minus 1. So what I can do now is go back to my general solution, substitute c equals minus 1 in there, and I obtain my final answer. So y will be... this function here. And of course, I can check the function to see if it actually really is a solution by differentiating it and showing that A, this equation holds and also the initial condition holds. <clears throat>